Gracias. <laughs> and welcome to the Ikufa for the month of July. More than halfway down now. It's it just spins by. But more than that, the society we live in changes, spins by increasingly, you know, makes its way heard at least in our country. It was an amazing, uh, you know, week or 10 days. First, uh, the gratification, uh, finally, I would guess, uh, for what's known as Obamacare, which is basically universal coverage for uh, people and giving them subsidies to help buy the uh, insurance if they don't have it. And what went from a terrible battle in the uh, Senate and in parts of uh, the United States, certainly including here in Florida, um, the Supreme Court uh, went ahead and ruled for it. A day or two later, what did they rule for? They ruled for same-sex marriage. And the most astonishing quick change in the mood of the public and the history of my reading papers or looking at the internet and those kinds of things. But all these things are minuscule in the in the reality of how did they happen? Well, I'll tell you how they happen. Everything happens quickly now. Everything happens in a millisecond. The internet makes things transparent. It's very hard for the uh, shapeshifters, the, the <laughs> line mongers, as you would have it, um, you know, to present things which are just not true. Now they're still, you know, harping about uh, there is no global warming, but that becomes softer and softer. Because, gee whiz, I mean, you, you cannot look at the internet <coughs> and, and not see that all over the world the, these climate, you know, exacerbations are going on. So the point is that it changes so much more than quickly than it ever did before. And our job must be to maintain the speed with which we interpret the same ideas. We can't mull over it for a year or five years or ten years anymore. We have to go along with the change, or not, as the case may be. But it's there. It's so fast. I wish I wasn't going to be you know, 75 years old, starting my 76th year um, and my 43rd year, I guess, of doing this. So I could see it unro unroll itself even more. It's really one of the most exciting eras that I've ever seen. And I want you to have an appreciation for it. And more than that, I want you to have an appreciation for the work that we do and for the changes we recognize and for the thanks we give to the Orisha for those changes. This week in the Ikufa, it was O'Shea Edi. Can't get more Oshun than that. <laughs> and I think that that is really what uh, Arumila was pointing out to us. Arumila was saying, hey, this is a week for joy. This is a week for celebration, for love, for all those things which matter to the human spirit. And in the course of that, it came Arunda Bade on path with one single offering 
flowers. Flowers to Rumila, whom I'm sure he will pass on to the appropriate recipients. And I'm also sure that whatever the next surprises or you know, changes in our society are, Romeo will be in the forefront. You'll be there to recognize it, and you'll be there to take advantage of it. Until next month, love and blessings.